All right, family, peace and blessings. This is your boy, Shaka Zulu and Kruma, coming to you live from uh, Wally World. Um, I'm back here in the outdoor section. Got a lot of knives back here, a lot of things on sale, clearance. So, um, you know, I'm always talking about you can never have enough knives, and you really can't. Uh, head on over there, and they got uh, knives on clearance. A lot of great names. You know, good quality blades, just like you deal with in the firearm world. You know, with like Smith & Wesson or Bushmaster, Remington, you know, Colt. You know, those are names you can trust. Just like in the knife world, Buck, good good product. Gerber, always good. CRKT, definitely good. Um, SOG, definitely. I'm going to pick this up too. It's little, uh, it has a little blade inside of a key. So I'm definitely going to pick that one up. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of great stuff over here. Like, as you can see, clearance, clearance, clearance. You know, you're not going to go broke getting a blade. A good one, too. Um, I see a couple of them on here. They said they got titanium plating. I wouldn't really trust that. You know, so that's just the plating, probably just to prevent rust or whatever like that. But, um, yeah, if the, unless the blade itself was titanium or something like that, which would probably cost you a pretty penny, um, I wouldn't really mess with it. Um, yeah, you got some sharpeners down here. But yeah, like I said, got some Bowies on sale. So, uh, see, they got some multi tools in here. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna pick one up right now. There's one for 387. It's by Ozark Trail. That's one of their uh, companies that uh, Walmart likes to carry. So I'm definitely gonna call somebody over here and pick up one of those. Um, little Swiss Army knife over here. Not bad. 1157, but you know, the Swiss Army knives, even if you go to their website, though, even the smallest ones cost a lot of dough. Yeah, because that they've been around for like ever, so. Yeah, but definitely head on over here, get yourself some blades. You never have enough. And even as I showed you in the uh, the outdoor section, though, you know what I'm saying? Got you a little uh, Paracuda machete. You know, two different kinds. Got some wonderful fixed blades over here. Camp axe. These things aren't expensive, people. See these prices? Pretty cheap. Folding shovel, which could actually double as a weapon if you need it to be. Yeah, see another multi-tool. Ozark Trail. Not bad. Come on over here and get some stuff. And don't forget the other stuff that I told you about. Stop bleeding. You know, they got wonderful first aid kits over here. Uh, bite and sting kits, you definitely want to pick up. Smaller first aid kits, you know, something that you can keep on, on you, you know what I'm saying, as part of your everyday carry, or you know, keeping your car, or your get home bag, you know what I'm saying, if something happens while you're at work, you know what I'm saying, they got a lot of great first aid kits over here for not a lot of money. Um, definitely get yourself a whistle, in case you got a signal. Um, this is what I picked up last week, I showed it to you in another video, that multi-tool, it's only $3.88, you can't go wrong. Uh, magnesium bar, which I picked up last week for helping with starting fires, wet fire. But I also mentioned to you about going to wildbillwholesale.com to get your stuff. Those Siloom lights or those chemical break stick lights, I told you, not expensive, $247. Stormproof matches, $297. Uh, watertight first aid kit. You know, like I said, they got a lot of great stuff over here. Two person, 72 hour kit for $50. Can't go wrong there. Uh, solar shower, you know, just put the water in there and uh, hang it up in the sun. You got yourself some hot water. You got water filters, all kind of stuff. Five gallon water container. Um, listen, we're going to have to do a whole thing on uh, water containers, water storage, all that good stuff, though. That's going to be too important, especially if we have power outages. Six day food supply, $40. Can't go wrong there. Uh, what else they got over here? Wash towels, camp soap. They got everything. All right. So like I said, make it on over to Wally World. Emergency blankets, emergency poncho, which probably one time use. I mean, it's only not in that nice, 97 cents. So, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be the best thing in the world, though. But just like I said, it's an emergency. So if you need one real quick, then you got something real quick. That's simple, right? Um, reflective tape. Traveling around at night, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get hit or, you know, just to signal people. 
Then even over here, you got some wonderful air rifles, big names in that, uh, Crossman, Benjamin, they make the great stuff. 70% less noise, 25% more accurate. The Gamo, excellent. Uh, Ruger, you know, you can't go wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're dealing with the real firearm or you're dealing with an air rifle. The Air Hawk Elite 2, 1,200 feet per second. Um, let me tell you something. Don't sleep on air rifles for a survival situation, especially when it comes down to hunting small game. And even though you probably won't be able to hold off a, a army of people or something like that though don't sleep because in a shit hits the fan scenario if you get hit with a pellet in your eye in your neck you know what I'm saying somewhere in your face or, or, or an ar artery you know what I'm saying with, with, with 1200 feet per second a pellet coming at you and they have some that, that actually travel faster than that you're going to have a really bad day and uh, you're definitely going to need some medical attention I mean, think about that. Yeah, as violent as it sounds, though, but we're talking about survival. That's what this is about, right? Catch somebody in the neck with it. Carotid artery. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 sleep, on air, don't sleep on air pistols. Don't sleep on air rifles. Yeah, okay. Try to get the ones that don't require CO2 cartridges or whatever like that, though. But the other ones here, yo, air, air rifles, you know, there's a whole history of air rifles that go back into, like, the... 15th and 14th century so don't sleep and like countries like Austria Japan Germany when their militaries in their country were first getting started their whole like like sniper brigades were actually using air rifles and you can go look this up it's in their history you know what I'm saying so it's not it's not a it's not a game with an air rifle I know you got a lot of background noise in here and music and people talking on the mics and Sorry about all that, though. But, you know, it's Walmart. It is what it is, you know. It's not going to stop what it is that I'm saying. So, but, yeah, never sleep when it comes down to the uh, to the air rifles and the air pistols, though, because they can definitely come in handy. All right? So don't play around with that. Like I said, head on over there. Go get yourself some knives. Go get yourself some multi-tools. Got things on sale over here. Good brand names. Buck, Gerber, CRKT. Even look, even a Smith and Wesson blade over here. All right, so just head on over there. All right, family. I'll holler at you later. Be safe.